So with Simon, we were um, we were looking at uh, taking his 315 um, shoe with our new 320 um, sole prototype, and we were putting it him onto the new 320 shoe, and uh, and just making sure the the cleat position was was lined up in the four aft position, exactly how he's riding his his current shoes. Uh, it, it's a hugely important. I mean, any variable that's changed with with how much training these guys put in in a, in a fixed position. I mean, it, from long term, you could cause injuries. From short term, it can be can be a, a change in how his muscles work for for power development. So every little change makes makes a big difference. And so we want to we want to make it exactly the same as his current shoe. work with his uh, his biomechanics and work on on cleat placement where where he's developing the the best effectiveness through the pedal stroke and and minimizing the braking loss in his pedal stroke and then basically from that we don't want to we don't want to change a working engine so we want to we want to mirror it and uh, and be able to uh, to take that across to the new platform Um, new 320, we, we bring the 320 down in, in weight significantly. We're down in a, in a size 44 to a single shoe at about 220 grams. And then um, in, in the sole structure, we have a brand new sole based on our Dynalast concept. And, uh, and the new upper materials that we're using, we, we, everything that comes together, we create better effectiveness in our shoe design. It's a final product. Um, Simon will be one of the first guys riding the actual final shoe from a, a long process of, of prototype development. Uh, R&D into the shoe was, was a, a two-year endeavor, um, plus conceptual. So we've put a lot of time into the new shoe and, and hopefully it shows that uh, our hard work has been worthwhile.